Well, one of uh, the men accused of assaulting and robbing renowned and debele artist uh, Dr. Esther Matlangu at her house last month will appear in the Mduchana Magistrates Court in Siabuso in Pumalanga today for a bail application. The accused is facing charges relating to the attack in which uh, Dr. Matlangu was choked and robbed of an undisclosed amount of money. The postponement was granted at his last court appearance to afford him the opportunity to appoint a legal aid lawyer and for the state to confirm his address. Another suspect will appear on the 10th of May. For more on this story, let's cross live now to our colleague Offense Sitimo uh, from Mpumalanga. A very good morning to you, Offense. Uh, what's happening where you are? Thank you very much, Desiree. We're coming to you from Dujana Magistrates Court where the bail application for Simon Skosana, who actually broke into Dr. Esther Nostokana Matlangu on the 19th of March, is set to take place today. So at the moment, we're still awaiting the court to actually proceed, but uh, there's actually high anticipation. A lot of people clad in the Vele Colors are here also to support Dr. Esther Matlangu. Well, she's not in court at the moment, and previously we've had reports that uh, her health was not doing so well, so she might be monitoring uh, what's transpiring in court from home. So we're still awaiting for the arrival of the magistrates, and then from there on, we will hear the bail application. You know that Simon Skosana has uh, a, a role to play in order to convince the court that uh, he's not a flight risk, and also he will not threaten any of the witnesses in this particular case, and also that his address must be verified by today in order to qualify him to make this bail application. Desiree. And tell us about that second accused. The second accused was actually found in possession of the firearm. Basically what happened is that Simon Skosana is the one who broke into Eska Mahlangu's home and then he strangled her, choked her, punched her and then he fled with uh, a safe which had a firearm inside it and also had an uh, amount of cash which we don't know uh, uh, the amount uh, as to how much it actually is. And then later on he sold the gun um, to the second accused who is Jan Masilela who is a territory two year old and then he was found in possession of the gun and up upon finding him with possession of the gun he led the police to the initial suspect who broke into Ma Esther Matlangu's home and that's how he found himself both suspects found themselves apprehended and then they are going to court separately as the cases in as much as they are related to the break-in but for one it's a, possess a, 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 a possession of an unlicensed firearm and the other one is uh, 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 breaking in uh, Esther Matlangu's home, assaulting her uh, and the likes. Yeah. Ofenze, thank you so much for bringing us up to speed uh, in terms of this case uh, that's watched uh, by most South Africans to see what the outcome will be like. Thank you so much. Ofenze, Sitimo, there for you. Let's take a look at your weather prospects.